Listening to MLVC, the Madonna podcast, your place for all things Madonna Louise Veronica Ciccone. I'm your unofficial celebration tour correspondent, Stefan. And tonight on the show, we have Nicole, who attended both nights in Las Vegas, Nevada to see Madonna's celebration tour. Welcome to the show, Nicole. Thank you, Stefan. Thank you for having me. Um, I've been listening to you in the lead up to this, and uh, yeah, it's just been great to to hear all the reviews. So I'm very excited to be invited to do a review myself. So let's do, let's provide a little bit of background for the folks. Where are you from, Nicole? I'm from Melbourne, Australia. And you uh, flew all the way to Vegas to see Madonna? Well, partly. Uh, my husband and I have been married for about five years and he um, had his wedding ring made in Colorado. So um, the handcrafted and everything is beautiful. So we came over to uh, Boulder, Colorado to pick it up. Oh, um, wow. And then realized that Madonna was in Las Vegas. And so we had to come or I had to come and see her. So wow. we're staffed with her in Australia. Um, she's only been out there twice. So, um, yeah, I just had to do it. Did you get to see Madonna when she had visited Australia her two times? Yeah. So 1993, uh, she came to the MCG. She did three sellout concerts there, at, which at the time was she was the first female artist to do that. Wow. And and pretty much um, one of only, it was her and Michael Jackson, basically the, the only ones that played at the MCG. Um, and, in fact, Taylor Swift um, is the first to equal that record 31 years later when wow. she played the MCG um, just last month. So Taylor Swift had more people because back in the day um, they didn't replace the turf. So Madonna's stage was kind of in the middle of the ground because they only wanted to sort of wreck half the ground. Mm-hmm. So we had, like, I don't know, 65,000, 70,000 people. Um, but it was amazing. And I mean, I can't remember every element of it. Obviously I've watched the show on YouTube since, um, but we had pretty good seats, but she was still tiny Sure. and, and, um, the screens back then were not as good. So, um, that's why last night was just amazing. And so then you saw her when she brought Rebel Heart to Australia. She did bring Rebel Heart to Australia, but um, I don't know what happened, but I didn't see her. Um, I think I started a new job around that time. Okay. I don't know, life got in the way and I didn't go, which I sincerely regret because I've seen that show and I just think it looked fabulous. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so it was just that one time. And so this is only the second second and third times I've, I've seen her. So, yeah. And where were your seats for a celebration in Vegas? So on the first night, uh, myself and my husband went together and we were on the floor, row K. Uh-huh. Um, so very good seats. Uh, I just felt like you were kind of always standing up and kind of stretching your neck to see things. So you did get a really good perspective of the overall show. Um, but I just felt like if you're a little bit more elevated, you would have seen more. Mm-hmm. Um, and then um, last night I was in the um, Sound Factory pit Nice. I paid just on my own. Um, and oh, it was amazing. Like she was so close that I could see the veins in her arms. And it was just, I was a bit crazy. I was sort of morphed into like a, a you know, a, teen, a screaming teenage girl. Yeah, it was just <laughs> amazing. So, yeah, yeah, I keep telling people if you have the opportunity to see the show more than once, taking a little bit of a like a further away seat so you get the full perspective and then be in the pit because then you're like part of the show and she's right in front of you and it's amazing oh so amazing and it was really good because the pit wasn't too full I mean there was a lot of people in there but there was still enough room to move around and everyone was really respectful of each other and I had people pushing me to the front um because you know we'd (laughs) spoken about how I'd only seen her a couple of times whereas everybody else had seen her like you know heaps of times so it was just a really nice atmosphere. I met a couple of um, lovely guys in the VIP lounge beforehand. Uh, Dexter from Vancouver, I wanted to give a shout out to, and David from LA. Um, we had a great night together. It was sort of the, the icing on the cake meeting them as well and just sharing in the whole joyous experience that it was. What uh, VIP package did you have? Was it iconic? Was it immaculate? It was iconic. Okay, so you didn't get the tour on the stage and the jacket and... No, we didn't get that. I, no, I want to thank you too because I was originally just going to go to the one show um, and then I heard you talk about the VIP package and what it was like and I just thought, no, I'm going to do it. And um, it's a pretty big commitment because the Australian dollar is only like 65 US cents. Oh, wow. 
So it's almost double. So it's a lot of money. Um, but you know what? Like we've come all this way and sure. I'm glad I've done it and I'll never forget it. So it was totally worth it. Yeah. I mean, if you're coming, because Australia is, that's a, that's a hefty commute that, you know, and to, to, you might as well, if you're in town, you know, you might as well go while she's there and have yeah. that memory. Well, because, you know, like we've been saying, you know, who knows what her tours, you know, what, 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 what will she be doing tour wise in the future? You know, I mean. And I think that was it. I think, you know, the fact that she was hospitalised and, you know, nearly died um, just made me realise, you know, I'm turning 50 this year um, and you start to realise that, you know, life is short and yeah. you should experience things. And so I have just decided I'm going to do it. And my husband was very, very supportive of it. Um, so, yeah, it was just been fantastic. So you're entering your hard candy era almost because you said you're turning yeah. 50 soon so that's your that's your that's hard right. candy your 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 m dollar era and hard candy is one of my favorite songs as well i love it so there you go uh, you <laughs> mean uh, hard, favorite albums uh, i think i think my favorite album is like a prayer um if i had to pick one but you know it, it changes i it just changes well we'll, we'll get to, we'll get to those questions at yeah. the end <laughs> uh so you saw it both nights. I'm sure you're physically and emotionally spent because I know back to back Madonna shows. That's got to be exhausting. Oh yeah, like I'm normally in bed by ten o'clock, and um, <laughs> she wasn't even on stage until sort of quarter past ten. Um, <laughs> yeah. And by the way, that was totally fine. I mean, you know, you go in there and you go and do your merch shopping. Um, the DJ comes on at eight thirty. The DJ was brilliant. Mm. Um, she was on till nine thirty. Um, and then, you know, chatting and talking to people and then before you know it, Bob pops up and away you go. So, I mean, I think it's just, you know, crap really what those stories about her being yeah. late. Um, yeah. I just think it's people wanting to have a go at her for, you know. It really is. It, it's, yeah. it's, I don't understand where it's, why it's coming up or where it's emanating from. It's just, it's kind of, it's kind of silly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think that she, like, cause the thing that really cemented her, um, as my person, my idol, was the 1990 um, Blonde Ambition Tour. Mm-hmm. And of course she didn't come to Australia, but um, I recorded it. I taped it on my VHS tape because it was on TV over there because that, that was the only way you could see it. And I must have played that tape oh, time and time and time again. So I wonder it didn't break. Um, and that show, just like her energy and her you know beautiful dancer's body and her and the theatrics of that show and the costume changes and the crowd that I think it was a Barcelona show and the crowd was just enormous and I just I just saw it and went oh my god this woman so ever since then um I've just thought she was the ants pants and I still do so how yeah. do you feel celebration tour compares to blind ambition now like what what were your thoughts of celebration having seen it oh just the staging of it is amazing. The colour, um, just the joy and, and just the fact that, you know, she's 65 years old and she um, is celebrating her career and, and you know, the fact that a lot of her contemporaries are, are, are dead, are gone, um, yeah. and, you know, there's tribute shows here for Michael Jackson and, and, and others, um, but she's able to do it herself and how fantastic to be able to celebrate that with her while yeah. she's still um so yeah I just think it's a wonderful show and I think you know she's I think she's just feeling I think um Christopher the girly show dancer said this yesterday um she just seems to be more joyful you can Mm -hmm. see it in her face you know she's just even like the look looking at the crowd she seemed to be just smiling all the time and just mm-hmm. loving every every minute of it so yeah um, I, I, I can know. I can tell I can tell you're um not jet lagged but whatever your concert jet lagged because that that conversation with Christopher happened this morning oh, okay. <laughs> I am pretty tired so if I'm not making sense then sorry <laughs> you're like wait that was today what <laughs> <laughs> I know when I when I saw her in Paris I was seeing it back to back it was like Sunday night Monday night and yeah. Monday morning I woke up and I thought oh my god I've got to go back again you know? like, yes, no. I was excited to do it but at the same time I'm like where am I getting the energy to do this right now it is exhausting it really is um and I thought like last night I was like really worried I actually wore First night I kind of wore like platform shoes. So I was trying to wear sensible shoes but still more dressed up shoes. But then last night I was like, no, I'm just wearing my runners because 
I just got it's like sneakers. <laughs> you know, like, like I'd be rocking up wearing slippers. You know what I mean? Like yeah. whatever you're comfortable in, just it's yeah. I've seen when I uh, the a couple of shows, I'm I see people like drag queens and some women and even some guys walking around in stiletto heels, and I'm like, no, ma'am. Oh like, no, no, no. <laughs> I, ca- I can't do heels anymore. Uh, but only yeah, if you're gonna only if you're gonna be able to sit. But like the pit. You're standing and like, that is all about like, I, whenever I go to the pit, um, like I, like like I've done it tons of times. (laughs) I've been, I've been, I've been in the pit once. Um, but when I go, I make sure that it's like comfortable shoes (laughs) and I'll pack Advil just in case (laughs) I'm starting to like, get a little like, Oh, my back is starting to hurt from standing. You know, (laughs) it's like, yeah, just go prepared. Yeah, and I think the good thing about the way they had that all set up was that we we were in the VIP lounge and we didn't actually move into the pit. We, we went and had a look first off just to sort of do a bit of a recce. Then we went back, had another drink, and then came out, I think about maybe it was 9 o'clock by the time we came out. So oh, they let you go back? Yeah. Oh, yeah. When, when we were brought out to the pit, they were like, it, you can't come back to the VIP area. They're like, this is it. So, like, if you want to go into the pit now... You can't go back to the VIP. And I was like, I just want to I'll go to the pit. That's fine. Yeah, but, okay. Oh, well, they were very accommodating last night. Really, really nice and stuff. So they you got the really VIP, fun. VIP treatment. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> so tell me what what were some of your highlights from Celebration? What what were some of your favorite numbers? I think just, um, and I know a few people have said this, but just her coming out at the start, nothing really matters. Like just the way she she looked beautiful, the, you know, the crown thing, um, the flowing cape, and it was just, one of those moments where you go, oh, wow, there she is. Um, and then you sort of immediately break into the nothing really matters. <laughs> and you can see, I've taken a video of it, and you can see my, um, it's going up and down. <laughs> it's all dancing. Uh, so that was a favourite. Um, I mean, I love Hung Up. Um, mm-hmm. And when she did the spin, um, the, everyone just went wild. Everyone. It's so oh. amazing. I'm like, it's such a simple uh, like simple little step and people just love when she does that. It's, yeah. I, I think it's hysterical that so many people go crazy when she does that. <laughs> yeah, it was cool. And then um, Live to Tell, it was fantastic, just beautiful, um, so emotional and lovely. Um, and I also, I love Don't Tell Me as well. Mm-hmm. So I really enjoyed that too. And that was, um, she came really close to where we were for that. So I was just like, uh, oh, screaming. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. You get, you get a really good vantage point in the, in the pits, like Sound Factory. It's because you're right there, right when she's like sort of in the middle. And even when she's a little bit away from you at the end of the, of the, the main catwalk in the middle she still feels like she's right there, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And you can, I can just notice details. Like I noticed on the, the red and black negligee, like on the, the black part of it, just the sparkles and that, which you know I, you couldn't tell on the video. So just things like that, that you notice about her costumes and, oh, it's just beautiful. And the dancers were amazing. Um, Aren't they so good? Oh, so good. And like, I felt guilty because the first night I could just, I couldn't take my eyes off her. Um, <laughs> so, you know, I wasn't looking anywhere else, but, um, but I did, I did last night and um, yeah, they were just spect- spectacular, like yeah. unbelievable. And they were coming down the stairs sort of right where we were as well. Um, mm. And David actually, um, before I came out for mother and father, was like like we, I was at the railing and he was like sitting just right there. I was like, oh, there's David. <laughs> yeah, so that was cool as well. Um, yeah, it's I I I trust me. I I've been to many a Madonna show where I've only been watching her, and so only when I see the show, like the video of the show, the tour film. I'm like, oh, that was happening during that moment because I didn't like I Madonna was there and all of this was happening. So since having seen Celebration a couple times, like I'm like, okay, this time you're going to watch this instead of her, you know, because I'm like, I know what she's doing, but let's watch the dancers like Ray of Light specifically. I because she was floating around in the box for Ray of Light. My last time that I saw her, I was closer to the front stage where she does Nothing Really Matters. And I was like, you know what? I'll let her be in the box. I'm going to stand and watch the dancers doing the Ray of Light number because they're like, you know, it's like they're crazy. The nonstop movement, that entire song. So, yeah. um, Dexter said he was over at Danceteria and 
whatever number they were doing over there, um, he was focused on the dancers, like he deliberately focused on them. He said they were loving it. They were just like love the attention and um, so good on them. They're, they're absolutely amazing. Yeah, I know. I wish I had their energy. Yeah. Can you imagine yeah. having to do that two nights in a row? Like no, no. I just, much less one night, like just <laughs> one night. I can't even imagine. Watching having... it is exhausting. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, a bit of adrenaline and everything. I mean, they must not be able to go to bed till all hours. Like I found it really hard oh. really to go to sleep last night. I mean, and yeah, you're just sort of like standing and enjoying the show. Like it's yeah, because yeah, they're, they're almost like they're running a marathon. And yeah, I I, I assume they're probably up until like five six a.m. in the morning. Oh, they would be. Yeah, you have It'd to have to be. You know what I mean? Like just to be able to like bring your to calm yourself down. Like yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's so funny. Um. What was the crowd like for you uh, both nights in Vegas? Were they like, did you notice the difference between both nights? Or I thought, uh, well, both crowds were good, but I thought Saturday was the best. Um, actually, the Saturday crowd did the wave um, before uh-huh. she came in. Um, so, yeah, I just thought they were just a little bit higher energy than the Friday night, but both of them were really good. Yeah, yeah well, that's true. Both, and you know yeah. what? It's great that you got to see she doesn't usually do Friday night shows. And yeah. Uh, ever since she started studying Kabbalah, she was like, I'm, she wasn't doing Friday night shows. And there's been, I think, only a handful. I think there's three or four ma- max that she's done Friday night. So you got one of the one, one of the, the okay. special Friday night shows. Oh, and that was the other thing about the show. Um, you would have seen the woman who held up the sign um, about I- her empowering women. Um, and she picked out the sign and then she uh, reached out a hand and they um, shook hands or touched hands. Um, so that was a really nice moment as well. Was that during, so that was during the speech right around Don't Tell Me? Uh, yeah, it, it might have been just after Don't Tell Me. Yeah. 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 So that was a great moment. She gave away a couple of um, her guitar picks. Um, oh, and I got sprayed with water. Nice. So you were baptized by Madonna. I was baptized by Madonna. Yes. Nice. Yes. <laughs> Bless yourself and genuflect. Now yes. you're... <laughs> <laughs> uh what uh so how much longer are you in in vegas for are you are you seeing any other shows or are you just you're just gonna gamble uh, tonight no we think we'll go to the sphere experience oh nice um, we haven't been in vegas for about seven years and that wasn't here the last time we were here so we'll see that um we've got two more nights here going out for dinner tonight um and then on our way home we'll go to fiji and stop over there for three nights Love. Uh, I've, I've always wanted to go to fiji it looks like it's a very magical place yeah, I've been there once before. It's it's beautiful. It'll just be nice to stop over because you get really jet lagged on the way back. Um, I'm so sure. just on that journey a little bit. Yeah, how long of a flight is that from? It's what like 12, uh, 12 hours? It's, yeah, it's about twelve hours, I think, or thirteen hours. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, why not stop off in Fiji on the way home? You know, treat yourself. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're. Yeah. That way you can sort of like soften the blow of going back home. You know, it's like Madonna, Fiji that home yes exactly there's something still to look forward to so. did you did you buy any merch at celebration uh yeah i did <laughs> nice how about you what you buy sounds like you went oh. you did some heavy shopping yes oh. i've got this oh so you've thing. got a yes a justin teodoro time goes by so slowly hung up t-shirt yes yeah yep yeah, i got that i got the um uh absolutely uh, no regret. Absolutely no regret. I love that T-shirt. Yeah. She looks so good in that. Um, and the one with the um, the Jean Paul Gaultier corset, the um, tour oh, T-shirt. Oh nice! Oh nice! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted the dates on the back, um, and I also got the the celebration hoodie as well. So, oh, so uh, which one is that? It's it, the it one has... with the M on the back, the sparkly okay. M. Yeah. Oh nice! How is what's what's the quality like on that? I don't think I've seen that Pretty one up close. Quite heavy. Yeah, yeah, I actually wore it today and it was nice and warm, so that's really oh, good. good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the sweatshirts her, she puts out are usually good for a, a cool evening, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, no, it was great. I mean, you know, buying all this stuff, but it's just, I was so excited. Um, so I just thought, why not? <laughs> well, let's let's put it out into the universe. Hopefully, Madonna will return to Australia at some point in the near future, M- yeah. maybe Maybe on a relaunch of the celebration tour, maybe she'll take a break and then put out a new album, maybe, and maybe, then she'll go visit Asia. Yep. I think she needs to say thank you to all of us fans and, you know, one last time, right? 
last time. Yeah, absolutely. I, I wonder if she'll ever do that where like she would be like, this is my farewell tour, you know, like I, cause I, I, Maybe not. I Maybe can't not. see it being like celebration is not her final. No, 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 I don't want it to be. It's just more, I think that it's what I love about celebration is that it's, it's Madonna style concert. Like she's yeah. still able to move and, and, and dance and all the choreography and everything else. Whereas, you know, maybe in years to come, she'll just be standing, sitting on a chair or something on a stage, but, but seeing her, you know, as that performer that she is, is the way I want to remember her. So yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Who knows? Hopefully, hopefully Australia is in the works at some point. That'll. Fingers crossed. Uh, well, I know you've got to get to dinner and then the rest of your Vegas mm-hmm. vacation. But before you do, we're going to do a little segment we like to call the lightning round. As you know, these answers are meant to be quick off the top of your head, wherever you're at, your Madonna journey. Don't think too hard. Favorite Madonna song? Express Yourself. Favorite Madonna album, which you sort of alluded to earlier? Probably Like a Prayer, but... Uh, Ray of Lights close as well. Yeah, okay. Favorite Madonna remix? I'm not sure I know too much about the remixes, to be honest with you. Um, I, I have got the Funny Enough Love, so... Oh, okay, so the, most of those, a lot of those are remixes. Is, is there one that you like most specifically off of Finally Enough Love? Uh, I, do, I like the Hung Up one. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, favorite Madonna music video? Hung Up. She just looks amazing. Beautiful. And the fact that she's like, was two years younger than me when she did it. (laughs) My God. I know. I think she's my age in that video. Like the age I am right now, I think that's how old she is in in Hung Up. And I'm like, what? (laughs) You know, like. Like the way she dances and the flexibility and the strength. And oh, yeah. 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 uh, Favorite Madonna tour. And it doesn't have to be one you saw in person. Or it can be. It's Blonde Ambition and Celebration. It's a tie. Yeah. Favorite Madonna movie? Uh, I want to say Desperately Seeking Susan because when I was 10 years old, I watched that movie a lot of times. Um, but I also love Vivita. Um, oh, nice. Yeah. I think it's that thing when she plays herself, she's just, that's, she's at her best. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Even though Evita technically wasn't, wasn't her, but. Well, no, but you know what I mean. There, I think. Well, and I've always said, I feel like Madonna is always very successful when the character she's playing in a movie is as equally or above the stature of herself. Yes. You know, like we, like next best thing. Uh, it's like, it's very hard to believe Madonna is a yoga instructor with a kid you know, living in San Francisco <laughs> suburbs or whatever it is. You know, like it was just, it, it just wasn't as believable. I think whereas like someone like Evita was such a larger than life character in That's real right. life yeah. and in the movie that it was sort of, you were able to suspend the disbelief of that. Oh, it's not Madonna, you know, like, cause her, she's such yeah. a big persona herself. It, it's it, unless she can s- step above the character or the character, you know, steps above her. It's just, it's hard to. Yeah. And she totally like, you know, people who said, Oh, she just, she can't sing very well. And like, she totally proved them wrong. Oh, totally. Yeah. 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 Sorry, we digress. We, <laughs> uh, favorite Madonna look, and this can be from a video, a tour, a photo shoot. Oh, so many. It's probably the hung up look, I think, though. Uh, the, okay. Yeah, yeah. A little, and, a little, and a little like, fair, a little fair faucet wave. Yes, yes, yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's a hard. yeah. It's good. Um, well, Nicole, thanks again for taking the time out of your busy Vegas vacation to sit down and have a little chat. I love that there's a little bit of Vegas in the background. Not so, yeah. not as glitzy and glam as I. I well, it's MGM Grand over oh, there. Oh, yeah, I see it, I see it, I see it. Staying I... in New York, New York. Um, <laughs> but we're close to T-Mobile Arena, so that was really handy because it was just a five-minute walk across the road. Oh, there. Geez, that's great. Yeah. 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 Then you don't have to worry about, like, getting home. You know, it's like it's right there. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. Well, remember, everybody, you can find us on Instagram, Twitter, and threads at MLVC Podcast. If you'd like to donate to the show, we're on Venmo at MLVC Podcast or... Hit that button on YouTube, on YouTube. Yeah, on YouTube, on YouTube. Don't even know what I'm saying right now. (laughs) Send some super thanks uh, via our YouTube. And if you've not yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, tick that button so you never miss a video. We'll be going live with the remaining shows of celebration with listeners such as Nicole. Uh, So tick that button so you never miss a video. 
Until next time, everybody. Nicole, thanks again. Stay on the line. Don't hang up. But uh, we're going to wave goodbye to all the, the folks at home. Thanks for joining us, everybody.